Okay, so we've we've got the trailer. Um, we were unable to film anything because we had to really pay attention to everything that they were showing us just because we've never had a trailer before. So we just really needed to um, analyze and watch what they were doing to make sure that we got everything all figured out and that we remembered everything and that we were just good to go. Um, so yeah, it's been a very long day. Unfortunately, that's why we haven't filmed. So sorry about that. Um, we're just putting things away and uh, let me bring you into the madness. We are Natalie, TJ, and the bold and brave Camo Dog. Three adventurers from Colorado who are on a mission to unearth this country's beauty as we travel in our towable home. We spent the last year navigating and exploring the Atlantic and Caribbean oceans, but now we are shifting gears to life on the road. Welcome to Adventures of a Lifetime. So flimsy. There's like paneling inside of here. Maybe it's sturdier than I'm, I'm used to, but like all of these in here, this feels like decorative panel. So our plates might just crash down on us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to just do a little bit of reinforcement. Yeah, we'll see about that. But overall, no, it's they so, are very clean. It's so clean. They did a great job. Like I thought it'd be just dirty inside of here and Fishes did a very nice job of getting it all cleaned up for us because yeah. I'm sure it did not come this clean from the manufacturer. Yeah, it, it's spotless pretty yeah. much. Everything Just, but it's dirty from us walking in here all day, like being at the shop and, and the stuff. dog and, and the dog. But yeah, it's clean. It's clean. It's beautiful. It's ours. It's our home. <laughs> oh my gosh, up and all of our stuff. That's next. Yeah. There is a lot of storage in here. So much storage. We are going to be completely fine with all the clothes we have. And I am very excited because you should go check out that hanging storage area. I put hangers in there and they actually fit. Oh my gosh. The yeah. shirts hang in there. Yeah. Which I read in a lot of forums. A lot of RVs and trailers do not have ample storage. It's like people use like little kid hangers. And ours are totally fine. We got full size closets, TJ, baby. I smell your feet from here. Yeah. You know what? I went camping yesterday and they your were a little stinky. Literally, that's got a waft of your feet. Yeah. Sorry. You're gonna use the shower tonight. I can't. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it works. <laughs> well, we just finished cleaning all the floors and cabinets. It took 15 minutes. <laughs> this is like probably the dirtiest it will ever be because we don't ever wear shoes inside. Um, As compared to the boats couple hours couple days couple maybe. days this is great this is amazing. This is, <laughs> i can do this this is good you make progress very quickly yeah very quickly this would be like literally our bedroom on the boat it's our whole house now it's smaller than our bedroom no it's not it's... smaller than our bedroom <laughs> it might be it's not smaller it's it's comparable i will say it's close um but yeah now we just have to load all of our stuff up which is also way less than the boat i brought like <clears throat> eight bags of clothes to the boat and I only brought two here which may be too many still but I only brought two so I have significantly downsized <laughs> how much stuff we have and I'm feeling good about it next task unpack unpacking everything. I guess uh, my brain's gone I can't think of anything <laughs> <laughs> no I guess not un I guess pack unpack unpack for the last time our brains are gonna work it is unpack it. okay yeah, we're good we're, 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 we're gonna do that yeah. we're gonna unpack okay here we go So Natalie has this good idea to put these mats down on the surfaces of these counters. So that things don't slide so much. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna put these inside of there and cut them to fit and then fill them up. Hey, only like 50 more to go. 
Wow, that looks great. Yeah, and then I'll do one more and I'll cut up that little corner over there. So we are done for the night. It's late. We are not done inside of here. We have a lot of stuff still to go <laughs> and all of that. But we're and close. More. We're getting closer. We're going to sleep for a little while and then we will get up tomorrow morning and continue putting it all away before we need to drive down the road. And then I'm sure everything will just tip over anyways, but <laughs> so, no, it won't. But we'll get there. Uh, but that is the end of our day today and we are going to sleep in our new bed which is going to be extremely uncomfortable because apparently all rv bed mattresses are bad i think it's comfy he likes really firm beds i sleep I on not... the floor though not a lot but i have slept on the floor yeah. i enjoy sleeping on the floor how tired are you huh <laughs> okay good night good night good morning good morning we slept through our first night on the trailer. We both slept like rocks. Amazingly. Didn't, didn't wake up once. Yeah. So the uh, the myth of the mattresses being <laughs> it is horrible. Not a myth. It is so hard. I like it. It's a real. It's really <laughs> firm, but I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. But we slept through flawlessly. Everything in our trailer seems to be working very well. Um, we've got a tiny little bit of a leaky faucet. Like it just like drips it's every just, like half hour so that's a very easy fix though but other than that we have a lot more storage than we thought mm -hmm. it's, yeah but i just wasn't sure how deep the cabinets would be i knew we had a lot of cabinets but i didn't know how deep they would be and they're deep they're really really big they're huge cabinets we are going to have more than enough space to have everything put away nicely the fridge is cooled down properly the freezer works our outlets are all working it's it's going great so I far. We made a smoothie this morning. We made I made smoothies. a smoothie camping. <laughs> I have been tent camping and car camping for years now, and I've always just been never had a sink or be able to make a smoothie. The fact that I can like make a smoothie and like wash it off in my sink is like amazing to me. <laughs> so yeah, the only thing we're waiting for now is well, not the only thing we're waiting for. We have the propane that heated our water. Um, but we're not sure if the electric heats our water. For some reason, the electric didn't heat it right away, but our propane did, so we have to figure that out. Yeah. But other than that, this is great. <laughs> we got smoothies on the road. 10 out of 10 so far. Everything is amazing. I had to move in and pack again, unpack, I guess, but once we get <laughs> situated for the millionth time in the last few years, we'll be good to go. The, the technicians here at Bish did an incredible job. Everything was flawless, very clean. We did an amazing walkthrough. I mean, we have literally been in one travel trailer like once. We like stopped at one place like, <laughs> like, like 20 a, minutes. Like 20 minutes like for like two weeks ago. And they have done an amazing job of explaining everything to us, showing us how to work everything. And we feel very confident after our like few hours here of being okay to take this thing with us on our own. <laughs> yeah, they really went above and beyond and didn't try to just shove us out the door. They actually let us stay here on their lot and ensured that we got hooked up correctly. And yeah, that was super nice. We had like no plans of where we were, where we were going to bring this last night and they got a spot for us at their RV park here and they've been awesome. So I was, I was really nervous going into this. And <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what we were doing. And after one day I'm feeling very, very confident and knowledgeable. So thank you to everybody at Bish for making our first trip a huge success. Yeah, this is, very appreciative because this could have gone many different ways and it went. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are here getting our our first supplies. Ooh, we have the dog bones right here that we need. We got a dog bone. Is this a camel dog bone? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So there definitely are some supplies we need. We don't have any chalks yet, um, any leveling kits. What else we need? We had to get a dog bone, which TJ already found very nicely. And we need a sewer hose and a freshwater hose and some things like that. So we're gonna so we're going to do some shopping and get all that before we head out on our way in a few hours.
we have found, these are our leveling blocks. Leveling blocks for the stabilizers. Yeah, so those go, two of them. I think two packs is good for now. Okay. And then these are leveler kits for the wheels. I've been reading a lot in Facebook groups, so you can roll on to these as, as far as you want to, to have more leveling. So you get these, typically just for, we just need one set of these because you just usually do like one side of the trailer. Oh, perfect. Cool. We have a nice little set of the color red, even though I do not like the color red at all. We have made it to the sewer hose area. And they have this nice clear thing so you can see it all going through. <laughs> oh god. Um, Is this gonna be my job? I don't, I don't know which one we want to do. I don't know why why do we need two? Is this two in here? I think just for extra length. Oh, in case it doesn't reach. This is big. Okay. Now, I think I saw some water filters over here. Okay. Ooh, so many options. That's we'll a really a, nice one. We need a water filter to hook up to the city water, and then the water will flow through here, take out all the hard minerals, and then we'll have nice clean drinking water. Yeah, we'll, we'll filter again before we drink it, but it'll be a good first step. This is just everything that we've read online. We're like pretending like we know what we're talking about. We totally know what we're talking about. <laughs> we totally don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> this is what we read online and we're trying to- We've been doing this for a whole 12 hours. We've been really trying to <laughs> figure out what we need. This is our first go at it. So, we have to get something to an enzyme for our gray and our black water tanks to make them not smell as much and help everything break down. And I've heard it's interesting to me because what was the brand we used on the boat? Do you remember what it was called? I can't remember what it was called, but it's weird to me that they don't have it at any of the RV places or if they haven't mentioned it online, even though it's like a gray and black tank still. The only thought is that these are stronger chemicals and marine has to be like a little bit more biodegradable, but we're gonna get a happy camper for everyone to talk about. They all say it's good. So we're going to try that out for our first go. Okay. It said organic too. Wow, that's so us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, are we all set? I think we are. Our cart is loaded up. Um, <laughs> we have to now find more places to put all of our stuff that we just acquired. This is a lot more stuff. They're all essential. They're essential, but like, where's it gonna go? Underneath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's hope. What's your guess on total price? 500. I'm gonna go. 75. I'm gonna change my answer. No. Okay. That's your answer. All right. Okay. So we have completed our first night here, which went very, very well. And now we are going to attempt and hopefully succeed in hooking up the trailer to the car for the first time by ourselves. And then we're going to get to our Next campsite, we decided to go to a, a hookup RV park instead of boondocking for our first go around so that we have power and all the things we need. So when we get there, we will show you inside our new home. It's only like an hour away, so it should be a pretty nice, quick and easy move to our, our first stop. spot while we do things with the trailer. <laughs> nice and cool and in the shade. Camel is, is liking it so far. Okay, now that we got the stabilizers picked up, it's time to put the ball on the hitch. Here we go. Okay, now TJ is going to attempt to back up to the correct spot on the hitch. Something will help him.
So I think we're all set. We emptied our fresh water tank because we're going to another RV hookup and you don't need to carry that underway. Normally, if you just go from RV park to RV park, I guess you just hook up your hose, but we had our tank full, so we emptied that. We have our door locked. You locked this? Yep. Uh, no, that's not locked. I think we should lock that too. Okay. So we'll lock this. Okay. I think it's locked. No, it's hard. Okay, so we'll lock that. Close this. Oh, we have a camo ball. <laughs> I think we need a new ball though. Alright, short power is off. Our clothes. Jacks are up. Okay. And uh, who's driving? I'll drive. You're gonna drive the first time? I'll drive, yeah. Okay, here we go. with his new bed we built him. We'll have to show it better in another video, but it's a lot higher, so now he can look over here and he's not like sitting down the back. He can rest his head on the seats. And he really seems to be enjoying it a lot. He's been kind of stressed in the car sometimes and be anxious about noises he heard. But now he can see everything, so I think it's really helping him out. And it's adorable because he's right here with us. is where our first stop is. TJ has done a beautiful job driving so far. It's it's doing really well. The car is doing very well. I am doing very well. <laughs> Only white knuckling it a little Just bit. Just a little bit. I'm very <laughs> I, happy with I it. looked over and you were like grabbing, you started like releasing your hand. The tension. Cracking up. But we're getting 12 miles to the gallon. And we and normally get like 16 to 18 in the car, so it really is doing very well. And I mean, we are, it feels pretty smooth. And this is, we're about one, let's see, we are 1.1 miles away, going to Oak Ridge RV Park. And then the first challenge begins of potentially backing into a spot. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know if it's a pull through or a back in, but we're ready for it. We'll find out very soon. Arbor in. this is it right here. This is it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to make it safely into our very first stop. Nice and slow. Wow, yeah, very slow. Is this where we check very in? Very slow. Maybe, yeah, we'll go over here and park and then get situated. Cool, I'll go check in. Okay, here we go. RVs. All right, we traveled from Junction City over to Oak Ridge and we made it to our first RV campground. It was about a one hour drive. Uh, everything went flawlessly, no issues. The car handled great. And uh, yeah, we just pulled right in, got everything set up in a matter of like 10 minutes. It was super easy. And yeah, we're here for the next few days and just enjoying it, relaxing and to go do some hiking. And what a beautiful spot to be in. So we are connecting our hose for our black and gray tank. We're just doing a gray tank flush today, but we're connecting it for the first time. And who's gonna do it? I'll do it first. Yeah? Yeah. We don't have any gloves, so. We have gloves, but we don't know where they are. But the hose is clean. Things are generally clean, so we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> but it's our first go at it, so we'll uh, let's see how it goes. Camo, do you know what's going on? We're gonna go dump the gray tank. Yeah. What's nice is our uh, hose actually fits inside this track back here. Yeah, a little hitch a little thing hitch. going on. Bumper thing, the jigger. Camo. <laughs> this one? I think so. Putrid in there. 
Yeah? You Ooh. see it or smell it? Smell it. Do you just screw that on or just rest in there? It doesn't look like it. It does look like it turns on. Okay, so I think you unscrew that top one first. And screw this on. Yeah. That was stinky. <laughs> well, that's awkward. It's the wrong direction. Yeah, it came on. That stinks, huh? Shut. Shut. Like what? <laughs> okay. So that's onto there. And then I'm yeah. assuming gray is the gray valve. Yes. Okay, just gonna open it up. You can see it come out. Whoa! Whoa, Kimo, look at the waterfall. <laughs> Nice. A nice first, a nice first go of it. Yep, it's easy. Nothing traumatic. Cool, so this will run all the way through, empty on out, and we're just gonna keep it on here now. Yep. But you gotta make sure to close the valve. The valve, otherwise the camper will stay. Okay. So, this should say empty to come to our little control panel. And we do gray, and it says E for empty. Success! Well, we got the gray tank flushed successfully and all closed up. We have the whole trailer all closed up, and now we are heading through Oak Ridge to go on a hike and then maybe get some groceries later. Whoa! We're going through this one-lane bridge to get to our hike. Wow, the architecture in here is so cool. And we're following an airstream. I wonder if they're going to the same trailhead as us. They must be, it's right here. Awesome, that was so fun. <laughs> All right, we just started our hike. Like a minute. A minute into it and Natalie found wild blackberries. Oh yeah. Okay, camos. Hey, look at. <laughs> Natalie is really excited right now, as am I. I have a plan. We're still walking through blackberry bushes. It's absolutely incredible. They're all over the place. They are everywhere. So when we come back from our hike, we're just going to sit here for like 20 minutes and pick a bunch of blackberries instead of going to the store and getting them. Yeah, it's a great idea. Obviously. This fall is a little more than I expected. In so deep, I can barely see. Go, go. Yeah, around me feels so heavy, but the plane is Two, one, go, Kim. Okay, nice little refreshing stop. And now we are back on our way. I know it. So we are over on a trail today. It's called, what's this trail? North Fork, North Fork, Middle Fork, Willamont River. It's the trail we're on today, it's mouthful. And it is a beautiful trail. It is so amazing to be back outside in nature hiking after like just weeks of stress and uncertainty and planning and packing and it's it's just been a lot a lot a lot to to do and manage so we are out on a 10 mile trail today 
We are all very out of shape, <laughs> um, but you know, no better time than the present to get back into it and, and start getting in shape again. So we're gonna do that. Camo is so happy to be out here. And we've had a nice hike that's along a river the entire way. So he has plenty of opportunities to jump into the river and hang out. And there's this cool little bridge right here we just came across. And um, it's a little bit sketchy, not too bad though. Ooh. But yeah, that is our plan for the day is to be out here and hike and then we're going to get some more trailer stuff done later and finish setting up and unpacking and get some groceries and just enjoy the fact that we are finally in our new home and embrace that whole fact and the lifestyle that goes along with it. Swimming time. You gonna join your little puppy dog in there? Ooh, so you gonna join your father? Go get him! Go get him! That's so fun. You just float on down. Look at this spot. So we have seen these berries all along the trail kind of look like blueberries, about the same size, they're small. We do not know what they are. So if you know what they are, let us know. We're so curious. We are not eating them, don't worry. We would love to eat them. <laughs> they look really good. I'll definitely eat them <laughs> if we know what they are. Yeah, but we don't know. So if you know what these berries are, inform us. They are massive. We're on a mission to fill up a whole water bottle full of res or blackberries, excuse me. Look at all these. Whole bunch there, there whole bunch are here, so whole many. bunch there. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Breakfast time. <laughs> we are needing it. We are hot, we are tired. This is exactly what we need right now. It's truly incredible. Like this whole entire area, all the way down and past that gate, all of these bushes, all the way around down both sides of that path over there and then down that way is also is all blackberry bushes. There's so many, this is so exciting. Hey Cam, there's another black one. Get the black one. Good boy. Okay, leave it alone. We have exciting news. We have a lot of blackberries. This whole entire thing is blackberries. We've been picking for what, like a half hour? Yeah. We need to call it. I could just keep going. There's like just thousands. There's so many. And I think this is the early this is early in the season for them. It's the end of July and it seems like they're just kind of coming out. So I think that I'm pretty sure like it's more of like late summer. So if you're looking to pick some blackberries. We've got a lot. Yeah, well if you want to pick blackberries in the wild in Oregon, come in the end of summertime. So it is four o'clock. We started hiking at 11.30 this morning. It's been a very long day. It's 84 degrees outside, which is pretty warm. It's warm. And I am in here eating my container of blackberries. Oh, your container. What? I'll share them. Um, but yeah, we are going to go to town and try to find some coffee. We didn't have any coffee yet this morning and I am quite exhausted. Shopping, head back home, shower, and enjoy the fact that I am camping and I'm gonna have AC in my house. Like, this is amazing to me. I am loving this already. I think this lifestyle just suits me so well. You, us, us, hmm. us Again. so well. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You look hot in my head. <laughs> Yummy. Just got our coffees. Delicious. 
That is coffee. Wait, go to your right. You have to go to the grocery store. Just went through this cute little drive through over here. I love these over here. It's so fun that you just don't have to get out of your car and, I don't know, they're just cute. You wanna go in or do you want me to go in? I'll go in. Okay. All right, so we just got back from our hike and I got all of the blackberries out and washed off. How incredible is that? We are going to feast on these for a while. Well, after uh, 10 miles of hiking, we decided to come back and go to the grocery store. And now we are going to be cooking a vegan fried rice. I'm so hungry. It, this, this is gonna be incredible. This is like our first real meal since we've gotten the trailer. We've just been kind of eating like bleh. Just whatever we had, we just shoved into our mouths. But now we're actually gonna cook some food again. And I am so excited for it because I am so hungry. It is time to serve. The flame in there, you can't go very low on it, so my rice kept like overflowing. So then finally I just gave up and turned it off. We have some new uh, cooking challenges. No, this looks great. On our horizon. I don't know how much you want. Fair enough. How is it? I don't know. I try it. it yet. Go try it. This is like our first real food in a long time. It's our first meal in here, too. Hmm. Decent? Yeah, it's nice. I really like it. This is our at home security alarm system. Camo Vision. Who's out there? After breakfast, we headed out on a little hike to do some more exploring of the area and found some really cool things. What have you found? You found this. Look at this pine cone. <laughs> this is the biggest pine cone I've ever seen in my life. That is monstrous. I guess these trees are pretty big. The tree behind you is so big too that I guess it makes sense. They come from these, these big, huge pine trees make big, huge pine cones. This is what I'm used to. This is the normal pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I have never seen a pine cone so big. That is a crazy size comparison. This is really cool. I mean, it's almost like a foot long, probably. Probably is a foot it long. It is a foot long, yeah. Wow. It's really cool, though. That is really awesome. Oh, I love exploring new states and new places to see things like that that you don't ever see. You won't find that in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> we can. <laughs> You can guarantee that one. I can't guarantee it, but I don't think you will. I've no, never I think seen I can, it. I can pretty much guarantee that one. I've been all over that state. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Okay, onward we go to the beautiful, magical fairyland. We are leaving the gorgeous oasis. Say goodbye. Bye, beautiful swimming hole. We will miss you. Okay, so we just got back from hiking. This is our new home. I can't believe this is our new home. We have been living in this for 48 hours. Um, we purchased this at Bish's RV up in Junction City. And yeah, this is just mind boggling that this is our new tiny little home. Uh, we've learned a lot of things over the last 48 hours and I can't wait to bring you inside and give you a little overview of how our first 48 hours have been. Welcome aboard. <laughs> so <laughs> I here- I guess we can't say that anymore, can we? <laughs> no. So here it is. Here's our new, here's our new home. Here's our seating area, our lovely bathroom in the back, our grand fridge because you know how much we love our cooking, we had to have our fridge space. Our kitchen. And the bedroom. And the bedroom. <laughs> All in one room. Okay. What a 48 hours. Yes, it has been a 
wild, busy, hectic, amazing, just mind blowing, spontaneous <laughs> 48 hours. Um, where yeah. should we start? Should we start with a recap of the journey to and from or let's, I don't even, my mind is just like, so all over the place. <laughs> it's been insane. I think, what are your first overall impressions of our new home? I'm so in love with our new home. I was, I was so worried because when we were back in Denver, we walked into two, we walked into four different trailers. Okay, wait, time out. TJ and I, before this, have literally never been in a travel trailer before. Ever. Like, ever. We don't have any family. We don't have any friends. Nobody that has a tow-behind trailer or an RV or really anything. I walked into my neighbor's $500,000 RV a week before we came here, and yeah, that thing is luxurious, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we have just had, we had no idea what to even expect. And yeah, we got this sight unseen because we were on the boat and we didn't have the opportunity to go look at them because we were floating around in the ocean. And a lot of them are sold out right now, so. Yeah, we had to order this one and it took, well, we didn't order, it was coming and it took about two and a half months from when we bought it to be able to pick it up. So we had no pictures of it. There was no walkthrough of it. There was no really specs of it. And so it was just all kind of you have to believe me kind of thing. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> Which is crazy, but we did. We believed him and we love it. I, I am completely obsessed. I have been camping for years out of my car mainly and, and tents and things like that. But the fact that we could just go finish our hike, come back here, take a shower <laughs> with hot water. Have some nice AC. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely that's your favorite sushi. thing. Yeah, he the does. AC is your favorite thing. <laughs> you guys love the AC. Campbell loves it, which also is like a huge, huge thing for us. At the end of the boating trip, he was sick of it. He didn't want to be on the boat anymore. He didn't like the rocking and rolling. He really wanted no part of being on the boat. And he loves this. When we were picking this up over at the... Um, at Bishes, we were just walking around and learning everything, and the door was open. And Campbell, by himself, came over and walked inside of here multiple times. <laughs> he just chose to walk in here and lay down. Which he never does. Like, he ever. never, ever leaves our side. And the fact that he, like, just decided, we, we came in here, we're like, this is our new home, Campbell. And then he just walked in here by himself and was like, okay, cool. Made me very happy that he was comfortable. In it was there. a big relief. Yeah. So, he loves it. I love it. It's It's been incredible. Um... What the, were some of your biggest concerns? My biggest concerns was... Besides the, him not liking it. Yeah, that was a big one. Um, I was really worried about the hookups. About, like, how connecting, like, the black water and the gray water. <laughs> and just all the fills. And just learning, like, the systems on board. I know we have the AC off right now because it's a little bit loud. So Campbell's a little bit warm. But you'll be okay, Cam. Um... Those were my biggest concerns was the just like, was like the systems and the process. Like the boating is like there's so much to know and learn. It took us like it's months. It's so critical. Yeah. It has to be like perfect yeah, versus. Yeah, you can't mess it up. And I mean, we have, well, to show you, we'll show you another video, but like we have like our circuit breaker is so tiny. and <laughs> We're not going to drift away here. Yeah. I mean, we could roll away. We could roll away. We could do that. That is possible. But it's just a lot. <laughs> I was just very concerned about all the systems and doing things right. And after never being in a trailer, tow behind trailer before, I was worried that it would be more than we could handle. <laughs> Some of my biggest concerns was, was I even going to fit inside of this thing? Uh, Valid concern. Online, it said it was 6'4". Yeah. I am like 6'1". And so I was like, how much headspace am I really going to have in this? Because, like, is the 6'4 the highest point, the <laughs> lowest point? Like, very debatable. The AC sticks down. And so we saw some videos on YouTube of people in here, but I'm like, they kind of look like shorter people. So it was interesting buying a trailer without even having been in it, knowing if I'm even going to fit in it. You fit. I fit. Yes. I fit. Spoiler alert. He fits. I fit. His head doesn't hit anywhere. I fit perfectly. In the shower, there's a... The shower's raised, so I was worried about the shower, too. But they put a little sunroof in the shower, so I have just enough <laughs> head space in there. Yeah, no, it's amazing. I fit great in here, so I'm happy. But, um, 
it really is so easy to hook and unhook. Com I mean, just comparing it to anchoring even. Yeah, it, the, the guys at Fishes gave us an incredible walkthrough on how to pull into a campsite and just set up from A to Z perfectly. Yeah, I mean, we have, I've never hooked up a trailer before. <laughs> <laughs> no, me neither. So the fact that we can go from never hooking up a trailer to being able to hook up a trailer completely and easily and quickly and feel confident in it is amazing. That was one of my biggest concerns too was, you know, you don't want to mess that up. Step. You can hurt yourself or somebody else on the road. Like you just have to really be sure that you have all the safety precautions dialed in that you need to. Yeah, definitely. So I feel good about the the hitching. Unhitching is easier than I thought it would be. The systems inside are easier than I thought it would be. The gray and black water and city water is all easier than I thought it would be. So yeah. overall, it's been an amazing, amazing start. Yeah, it's been an, yeah. What an incredible experience we've had in our first 48 hours. Really, yeah. really nothing to complain about at yeah. all. Um, yeah, I've really got nothing to complain about. Everything has worked flawlessly. Yeah, the only thing that, like, hasn't worked was, like, user errors if you thought the hot water wasn't being, but we didn't have a switch on. So, like, everything's been great. Um, I know that there are some people, like, have been, have been having some issues with RVs and tow-behind trailers being produced recently and then just, like, falling apart when they pull off the lot, but I don't know. Everything's been great so far. Yeah, so. nothing's fallen apart yet. Our yeah. ceiling's still there. <laughs> <laughs> ceiling's there. Cabinets are still there. Doors all closed great, so... We'll, we'll see how it goes, but for our first 48 hours, I am, I've never looked cuter camping before. <laughs> you That's, haven't. I haven't. The fact that I can go shower and just, like, enjoy hot water and change my clothes and have all of our cabinet space is incredible. Luxurious. It is. It feels, it might be small, I mean, it's a lot smaller than the boat, and we are, like, tiny compared to every other... We're one of the smallest trailers <laughs> out there. We are. We look like our... Uh... Besides the teardrops. Yeah, but those are small. Or the pop-ups, but... Yeah. As far as, like, standard size, like, tow-behind trailers, RV, class, you know, A and Cs, we're, we're pretty small. We're very um, small. It's 18 feet it. in here. Yeah. So. But I love it. And it's perfect for us, I think. We'll find out. <laughs> Stay tuned how it goes living in here full time. Well, I think a lot of people who go into this, like we watch a lot of YouTube, we watch a lot of YouTube videos. People on... complain a lot about how much work they are. Yeah. I mean, it took me two minutes to vacuum the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. It's amazing. I think coming from a boat, from a, a yacht to a small tow behind trailer is going to be amazing for us in ter terms of workload. Yeah. So Hopefully I'm, that means we can make better videos for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, but we are off to go make some dinner, and we're hungry after our hike, and we're going to do a little bit of cooking inside, a little bit of cooking outside, and just enjoy our new little home for a while. Maybe go out by the water. Yeah. That's our plan. So A successful 48 hours. A very successful 48 hours. <laughs> and he's asleep. We'll turn the AC back on for you. Okay. Bye, guys.